Hello everyone. I hope you all are doing very well. And in this session, we are going to discuss some of the important uh, MCQs, right? So here you can say that uh, what is the output of following C chord snippet? And here is a C chord written to you. So we are using main function and we are having an array and we are storing five elements inside that array and we are accessing array five. So by default, you know, that whenever such kind of array will be created, the name of array is a double R one, two, three, four, and five. And what you are doing here, you are just storing them. You know that the indexing will start from zero at one, two, three, and four, right? So maximum, if you will print arrow or array of zero, it is going to print one, right? In this manner, if you are going to print till array of four, so in the case of array of four, five will be printed, right? But if you are going to print array of five, basically we are accessing some of the memory location, which is not a part of this memory allocation, right? And we are accessing, that is, we are just touching the boundary line and we are exceeding the boundary line, right? So array bounding is there. So we are accessing array five, which is not there. That is called a segmentation fault, right? That is called a segmentation fault. So option D is the correct answer here, right? Okay. The next question is, which of the statement is true about arrays in C? So you can see that we are having various options here. Arrays can store elements of different data types. Obviously not because you know, array can only store same type of data, right? Array can be resized dynamically. No, array is a static data structure. Option C, array elements are stored in contiguous memory location. 101% it is correct answer because array is stored contiguously without any kind of break or gap between them. So C is 101% correct answer. And option D, array can only store maximum of 10 elements, obviously not. So C is the correct answer for this question, right? Okay, this is the detailed solution. Next question is, what the what is the time complexity of accessing an element in an array with n elements using its index? So if we are using the index and using index, if we want to access directly, we can access. This is called as direct access or you can call it as a random access random access so random access is possible in the arrays due to which the time complexity will be order of one because only with direct only in the one time directly we can reach there and access any particular element in constant time right in constant time that is why okay the next question is so here is the detailed solution order of one right Next question is, which of the following is the correct way to initialize 2D array in C? So you know that if we want to create a 2D array, then this is not a correct way because we need to create two rectangular brackets like that, like that, like that. Data type should be there. Yes, data type is there. Thereafter, name of array. Yes. And then two subscripts. No problem. After that, if you will see here, then... Uh, uh, this is uh, this is A is obviously incorrect because this is not a way and D is also incorrect. Why? Because this is 1D, 1D kind of one dimensional kind of storage we are doing. This is not possible. So uh, B and C, two options are left. So basically if you will see inside rectangular bracket, we need to define rows in curly braces only. Means rectangular braces is not a part. We only need to define whatever number of rows you are having inside curly brackets right that is why option c is the correct answer that it is correct way to define 2d arrays right so yes c is the correct one next question is what does the following c code snippet do so basically we are seeing mcqs on array so you can simply see that five size of array five elements stored what we are doing sum equal to zero in every time what we are doing sum equal to sum plus array of i i is initially zero it will add all the elements from zero to whatever n minus one means ultimately it is just calculating the 
sum of all elements of the ele uh, array elements means whatever element means 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus 5 it is going to give you sum of this because every time sum is sum of array initially sum is 0 so 0 plus array of i array of 0 that is 0 plus 1 1 thereafter sum is having 1 1 plus array of 1 that is 2 3 and so on option b right next question what happened if you try to access an element outside the bound of an array in c plus plus or c so if you will access outside the bound program may throw a runtime error that might be the possibility yes the program may crash that might be the possibility the program may produce unpredictable behavior that might be the possibility that is why option d is the correct answer okay yes here is a detailed solution which you can just read right next which of the following statement is true regarding arrays of characters in c programming arrays of characters cannot be used to store a string incorrect a string in c programming are always null terminated yes strings in c programming are always null terminated because only whenever we fetch null it means that it existing it reflects it signifies that that particular string is terminated right c the size of an array of character must be declared explicitly no you can also declare implicitly arrays of a characters cannot be passed to a function as an argument false you can pass it like that so option b is the correct answer right and here is a detailed theoretical explanation for your notes next what is the size of following c plus plus character letters 5 so basically if you will see that normally standard compiler if we talk uh, gcc 32 bit one character letter take one byte so five bytes option a could be the correct answer right yes next which of the following best describes an array in programming right so uh, data structure that store element of different data type no not a different data type collection of variable of same data type that are accessed using index correct Set of key value pairs where each key is unique. Does not necessary that each key is unique. A linked list structure that allowed dynamic. No, it is not a dynamic. Option B is only the correct answer here, right? Yes. Detailed solution for your notes. In C programming, how do you declare an array named numbers of integer? So first you need to write data type. The syntax is data type what is data type integer that is you need to write int first so a is incorrect because you need to write int first that is why c is also incorrect you need to write int first right because whatever name of array you are using you need to figure out the data type of that first thereafter you need to write name of the array what is name of array named numbers so you need to write numbers so int numbers will be the two first word you need to write so this is also incorrect right and then you need to define the size inside rectangular bracket so size is 10 and thereafter followed by semicolon thus option b is the correct answer right yes option b is the correct answer next question okay so all the questions we have solved using mcqs on arrays so you can just scan this following code and join our telegram group you will get the pdf of this session here in this telegram group we upload all the pdfs whichever we are discussed in class and you will get all the pdf just by scrolling upper side right apart from it we are sharing more 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 information on the following links you can visit our feedback link give us the feedback there these links are mentioned in our description section also you can join our telegram group whose link is also mentioned in the description section for getting free pdfs and you can just join me on linkedin for getting solution of professional queries so till then have a nice day guys please subscribe and like the video